guys, it's Beth and Hope here, and today we are doing a video on how to move your smart dolls, because we have known several people in the past that have been too scared to move their smart doll, or when they hold a smart doll that someone lets them hold, they're too scared to, like, look at it, they're just like, oh yeah, this, this is like, because uh, they're scared to break it because they are so expensive. Sorry, his hair. Um, and why break your expensive investment? Quote unquote investment. Um, so we're gonna start from the head. Then we're gonna we're gonna start with the head. Then we're gonna move to the shoulders. Then we're gonna move to the elbow, the wrist, hands, hip, knee, and foot ankle area we're not going to show you how exactly like to take your smart doll apart but if your smart doll does ever need a chiropractic adjustment we are going to sh we are going to be showing you that so let's go get on into the video okay so we're going to start off with crimson okay so crimson when you go to move the guy's shoulders specifically Sorry, I'm just trying to get him to not be floppy on or flimsy on me. Doing the guy shoulders, you have to hold it here. Otherwise, his arm will pop off. I've held it from down here before. And his arm has completely popped off. I'm so grateful it didn't pop off now. You want to hold it by this bicep right here. By his shoulder. And here's the mobility of his arm. It can go all the way around. I can't, a normal human arm can't swing all, like, the, 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 the top of the shoulder can't be here on a normal human arm and still just be able to go like this. Well, maybe if you were double jointed. Okay, but eventually you'd still have to go back like this. Maybe. What kind of world do you live in where that doesn't... Uh, anti, anyway, so yeah. You can also, if you need to, swing the shoulder down here. But like I said, I advise not doing that because it can pop off and it's a pain in the butt to get these back on for the macho men. Macho man. Parts. <laughs> um, shoulder. Er, it looks like a baby. Elbow. This is the right way the elbow should look. Okay? The correct way for the elbow to be. One more time, the correct way. If your doll's elbow looks something like this, th this is a no-go, two thumbs downs. If this ever happens, what I do honestly is I take out the double joint. I take the double joint out so and then just twist it back, holding here, and twist. And then when you need to reset the double joint, just gently wiggle, just gently wiggle it in, like so. And you're good. See? And again, hold it here. Don't hold it anywhere else, because you do run the risk of breaking the doll. And be gentle with the wrist. Now all the joints can pop out, so the shoulder can pop out of the chest piece. The, this piece could come down, but this will stay here. And then the wrist can come off like that. Now I've had to actually sand this wrist down because it wasn't coming out. And when it did come out, I'm like, yeah, that's got to be sanded. So I sanded it, a little sandily sand, and I put his bracelet on, and then... You shove it right back in the hole. So if you see the brace hole... Brace it. You need to brace well, it. Well, obviously you gotta brace it. You brace it. You poke around till you find the hole. You brace it. And then you shove it in. Like so. And then he's got his hand back attached onto his body. Like so with his little adorable paws. The same goes for this side of his body. Again, okay. 
So the girls, we are going to be showing you again with the girlies with this stuff, but the arms up here are what you have to look out for for the guys. And here we have Miss Twilight. Hope's girly girl. Yep, my girly girl. And then, because I'm lazy, I'm just going to move that. Now with the girls, you still kind of want to hold it at this bulb here, but a little more down. Like I said before, it's easier to move it at the bulb. And you also want to brace the neck bust area when moving it. Again, just so that way it's easier to move them. Make sure that their arms are popped in all the way. And like I said before, all cute things squeak and she's a squeaky girl. She's a squeaky, squeaky girl. <laughs> move her up you got her elbow here and again you just gently 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 move it gently 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 and same th also you can go like this with the girls and the boys to get out the double joint if needed to go like like I just did with this because us humans can pr go like this stretch her bracelet just to reset the joint and then wiggle 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 same thing if her joint looks like this do not bend it backwards because that will break your doll bend it forward don't hit the camera and twist with the wrist it can come off, but I'm not going to take it off because, again, it is not my doll. Always consult with the owner of the doll before you do anything. If you see it on display, try not to touch it. Unless you go up to the person that has them. With the hands, you can take off them. If I'm smart enough to do so on camera. I'm just going to actually go. <laughs> Hope's dying in the background. And just gently, gently wiggle it off. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Then you take your new hand on. And then you just wiggle it back in. And then she's got a little thumbs up. Little thumb. Put her paw back on. You want her paw back on? Yes, please. And again, just when you take it off, if you, if you see this little... line right there this line right here that line this line you want to make sure that the hand is like the palm area or the back of the hand is like here you don't want to make it so that way it's like on the side because if that's the case when you wiggle it off it's gonna move most likely so just make sure it's like this and you just and then you brace it you look for the hole with and there you go and like I said before it's the same thing for your other side of the body and look at her beautiful face with them beautiful beautiful eyes look how gorgeous look how gorgeous gorgeous next doll is Miro here she's going to help me so you take the hip so you hold the waist and you hold here you can see her Ah. She has bikini bottoms on. So you hold the waist. Then you hold around this part of the thigh. And you move up. Now if your doll has pants or shorts on, it'll be harder. You won't exactly be able to get this angle. 
when you go to move the knee, you hold here, you hold the thigh, and you hold here. The calf. And you move down, like so. And move up, and down, and up, and down. And also, a quick side note to reset this, you hold, you brace both areas again, and move it back. I'm gonna move her knee forward, again, holding the right area. Then with the foot, with moving the foot, you hold here. This is as far back as the doll foot can go, and this is as far forward as the doll foot can go. To give you some perspe perspective, I'm actually going to hold her up straight. That's how far back. That's how far forward. Don't try and push it any other way because you will break your doll. The legs break on smart dolls. The arms can break on smart dolls. So joints that can joints that are usually broken, the knee and the elbow. Also the wrist, the peg where the hand meets the joint. Those are typical things that break on a smart doll. This video is to hopefully help you prevent those occurrences. Now Now the final doll I have to show is, with this demonstration is my little Chitose girl. Okay, now if your doll ever needs a spinal adjustment, I take off their jacket or cardigan or whatever they have on just to make it easier for my purse, for myself. You don't have to do what I do. You brace the doll's neck. I actually take off the wig. You brace her neck and gently tug upward. Again, tug upward. You don't want to do it any, you don't want to tug kind of to the side. You don't want to tug like this. You tug up. Put the head somewhere safe. If they have jewelry on, take the jewelry off. If they have a shirt on, or how about this? You take off the arm. Again, you brace here and tug. You take, you brace here and tug. You'll be able to feel their shoulder blade. You want to tug outward to the side, unlike the head. You don't want to tug up. You want to tug out. You want to make it like a cross. Is the best way that I could describe the shape. At this point in time, if she had a shirt, you would take it off. She actually has on the school the um. She actually has on a one piece, so I'm just gonna move it down, covering her breasts. She does have the small one on, but doll nudity on this channel is a no no, and you take Why it is off. It sadly a no no. Why not? It would make it easier to just remove it from, like, just hold it like this. I don't have to cover the. Anyway, um. Anyway, so, like, let's say. Now, with the newer dolls. Newer smart dolls, they have this spine, which make uh, an orange spine, which make which make which makes it harder to rotate the shoulder blades. Now, for whatever reasons, if your shoulder blade ends up like this, which I hope that never happens, but if it does, you gently brace this center point here and twist and twist. And let's say your doll's spine is fucked because let's say she fell, you would just carefully straighten it out, make sure that this peg here, the little silicone bit, is pushed down all the way. You you slip her bust piece back on. Put her shirt back up or on her, you put the respective arms back in, and what I do is I put them in like halfway, brace it like this, and push them in the rest of the way. I take her necklace, put the necklace back on, like show, make sure it's on the right way. Put her head back on, 
and I'm going to take her off camera for this and put her wig back on nicely. Or his wig. Or his wig. The same things go for the boys. And then you take their cardigan and put it back on. I'm going to put this back on her off camera. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye! Bye. Like, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!